Hello, Internet. Have you ever had a problem with your car and this is the driver's side door window? Nothing. 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 Yet the other pods work. Well, today I'm going to have a quick tip for you from your YouTube channel host, owner, and founder, your favorite one, VentureLink. Anyways, we are. I'm going to show you guys how to bypass the switch pod on your 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis GS, though this could apply to any other Panther platform as a whole. Credits goes out to Oscar Rodrigo on the Cromvic.net Facebook page for showing me the wiring diagram and how to do this. Thanks a lot, buddy. You've appreciated it. And this, will, and this video will hopefully save you all some time and money. So thank me for making the video and thank Oscar for giving me the instructions on how to bypass it. Anyways, this just as a fair warning, this video is not a one-stop shop on how to repair your power window problem because this could because ideally why your power window is not working could be one of many things. It could be the switch, which is actually the case here, but we're gonna verify it. I'm gonna show you guys how to verify it. I've already played with it several times so you all know how so so I know how it works. Like I said, it could be the switch, could be bad wiring, could be a fuse blown, or the circuit protection device because in this regard the power window circuit on this Grand Marquis is powered by a circuit breaker or it could be a stuck regulator or ultimately it could be a bad motor. Now the first thing you want to do is pop out your switch pod. I've already got it popped out for you guys but really it's not hard. Just take a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife or some other blunt small tough flat tip surface go around these little edges here or on the sides just be careful not to break anything the next thing you want to do is unplug your electrical connectors the two we want are this black this gray or blackish one here and the blue one over here there's a tab there you push it in pops out like so do the same thing for the other one Out she comes. The next thing you want to do is set up a temporary ground on your vehicle. Could be any bare metal part or some other metal part on your mo on your vehicle. As you can see, I've got a wire going from this hole here. Though you could run the hole or run the wire from this hole as well. Doesn't matter. Ground is ground. Want to take that. Want to take that same wire and in this electrical connector up here for the driver's side door wind for this um, for the driver for the power window motors. The two left uppermost ones control the driver's side window. The ones on the upper right control the front passenger side window. The bottom right controls the back passenger side on the right side. And last but not least, in the left corner, these two connectors control the rear left window. Now, what we're going to do is, what you want to do is take your ground and place it in this hole. Now, on this electrical connector here, you have four, four ca or eight cavities. Only three are filled. The one you need to be interested in is this yellow, this yellow wire with the green stripe. That would be this cavity over here on the far right side of the electrical connector. What you want to do is build yourself a temporary ground, and then you connect the your temporary bypass into this hole here. The goal is to get this wire up here into this hole and what do you know instant power it goes down when you're done verifying it disconnect it immediately because just as a fair warning there is an inherent risk of burning up the motor because the switch 
because you're bypassing the switch and you're bypassing the overload protection. So only do this temporarily to test your switches out and to test to make sure that the switch is the problem and to see if you can raise your window up some more. To raise the window back up, you simply reverse your power and ground, take your ground wire, put it in the hole next to it, which is this one over here, and then apply the power lead, which is from over here to here, and into this upper hole. That should raise your window up. And I will have a wiring diagram here shortly. But take note, it's only going to last for a few seconds. Make sure you do take notes on the wiring diagram so you know which wires to jump where. And that's it. You're all done. You have just tested your power windows. You've just bypassed your power window switches to test them out on your 2004 Mercury Grand Marquis GS. Though, so once again, this can apply to any of the Panthers as a whole. And remember, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, praise, criticism, etc. about this video, but no flames or bullcrap, hit me up in the comments section. If you have any questions about the Ford Panther platform as a whole, which covers the Ford Crown Victoria, Mercury Grand Marquis, and Marauder, and the Lincoln Town Car, hit up one or more of the following web forums or Facebook groups if web forums are not your forte. CrownVic.net, CrownVic.ca, GrandMark.net, CVPI.org, and or the United Panther Owners Association. Either way, post, um, search all the forums, make an account on them, sign up, post your questions, and the fine folks at either medium or either forum, myself included, will be happy to answer any questions you have in a timely manner. As always, the subscribe button, thumbs up, thumbs down button, etc. are at the bottom of every YouTube video now. Mine are no exception. Look down at the bottom of the video for the subscribe button. Hit it and you can subscribe to me. You can see any new videos that I put on YouTube. They will be in your news feed and in your weekly YouTube digest emails. You can also thumbs up and thumbs down each video as you please. This has been Adventure Link. We're going to close this video out as always by quoting Eric the Car Guy. And saying be safe, have fun, and stay dirty. And a couple more for me. If it happens to be cold outside, stay warm. If it's wet, stay dry. Don't forget to scan your spoo and sometimes your pee slip. See you next time. Have a nice day.